This is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about trees in the 3D model. Specifically, I want to talk about the type of objects that ArchiCAD has, which I call image trees. They're objects that show a JPEG or a PNG or an image in the 3D view rather than model elements. So I've got one right here. Let's take a look. Uh, so you can see this is called Deciduous Trees 25. It's always going to be deciduous trees, whatever version of ArchiCAD you have. And there's a couple of different of these. There's deciduous, evergreen, palm tree, pine tree, shrub. Uh, and these are different from, say, this uh, tree model symbol one, where there's actual geometry. Uh, these just have an image of a tree that shows up in the 3D model. I'm going to go back into that real quick with Command-T and talk about a couple of the options here. So if, as I mentioned, we've got a couple of different tree shapes and there's different tree shapes for each object and then you can either show or hide the 3d image sometimes i will hide the 3d image if i just want to use the nice symbol shape for a site plan and i don't want to have to mess with the 3d model but if you are messing with the 3d model the default trees have you know autumn winter foggy which is pretty neat so you you want to have an autumn scene you can do that or you can also change the opacity so it, you know, ghosts in and becomes a lot lighter. Let's bring back up the opacity. Uh, the next thing I want to show about this tree, um, when you're working with image trees, you can see as we move around the model, the tree doesn't uh, reorient itself. To get it to face the camera, you can right click and go uh, rebuild. And then the tree will shift back to look at the camera. So again, that's right click, rebuild, or it's command option R, which I tend to use often. So that's the basics of the tree, nothing too fancy, but there's a lot more we can do with this tree. So the default options for these trees are fairly limited, but fortunately you can click here and go custom picture and you can pick other things. And so I'm going to zoom around and show you that. In the back of this project, I have all of all of these things. Let me regenerate so everything shows up at the front. So you can see I have a bunch of different plant objects that I have just put in my 3D library here. There's a little spoiler there for the giant stick figure. We'll come back to that. But you can see I've got some ornamental grasses, some bamboo, some whatever. And this is just that same object. This happens to be the shrub object, but it's the same thing. I've gone use custom picture, and I've just selected what I want. What's great about this is you can start thinking about images in your project that go beyond plants. So for instance, here's my job sign. And so the proportions are off here, but that's using this same object to display my job sign in ArchiCAD, which is pretty cool. So as I was saying, you can do all sorts of interesting things. So you could use this shrub object. Instead of using shrubs, you can choose a stick figure. We can place them right there. And now I've just got, you know, a stick figure walking around in my model. It's pretty neat. Um, it's worth noting when you are looking for images, and I pulled all these off the internet. I mean, I drew that stick figure real quick. What you're looking for is uh, PNGs or images that have transparent backgrounds. So here's all the ornamental grasses in this project. They all have uh, invisible backgrounds, so they disappear. Now, last thing I want to talk about this is in ArchiCAD 25 Update 2 and newer, there is a new graphic override option, which will allow us to get rid of this outline. So to do that, we're going to go to Graphic Overrides. I'm going to click over here in the Quick Options, and then go here to my Uniform Trees Graphic Override. What this is, is it says all my elements that are on the layer containing the word tree will go to a light gray pen and then have these fill overrides. The reason I done that is so I can just place trees on my plan and they show up ghosted. So they show up nice and light. And this is all in my template. Now the other thing I'm going to click on here now is hide model contours. And this is whether you're in section or in full 3D. And I'm going to click both of them because why not? So I'm going to hit OK. Now what should happen is any element that is on a layer that has trees in the layer name, that line is going to disappear if I did it right. Let's try that again. Hide model contours. I've done that. Oh, okay. That didn't work is because 
that layer is wrong. If we look, this tree has the layer off. These don't because these are on a layer called plants. So if I just go ahead and select these guys, which I'm struggling to do, let me turn off all the other layers. Let's select those and I change it from site dash that plants to trees and plants on plan. They're going to all disappear because I just isolated that layer. And now I go back and now it's those same things with the contours turned off. And so that makes for some pretty great screen capture 3D model, right? If we just took that as a, a screenshot, that looks pretty great. We can see these trees back here are all in the wrong layer. So if I go here and change these to trees, they will now have their contours disappeared. And again, if I change this graphic override to no overrides, then all their contours come back on. That's all I have to share today. I hope you learned something and will start using this group of image-based objects to enhance your 3D windows. As always, I want to thank Madeline for editing this video. I so appreciate it. And everything you see here is based off two important things. My ShoeGnome open template, that's all my layers, all my favorites, basically everything you see in the model is derived from that template. So the best way to replicate what I'm showing here is to download my template and use that as the basis for your models. And then of course, the way my screen is laid out is thanks to my ShoeGnome work environment. That's how I'm clicking on buttons. That's how I'm using all the keyboard shortcuts. Anything you see me do that you can't do, uh, it's because you just need to download my work environment and then you'll be able to follow along with all the exactly same commands. Thank you very much. Have a great day.